Have you ever walked by this mosaic mural in downtown Long Beach and thought, hmm, where did this come from? I'm Nadia Gill and welcome to LBTV's Long Beach History. Completed in 1938, this piece of history, known as Long Beach Recreation, or Recreation for short, consists of 462,000 artfully arranged tiles that are used to create this incredible mural depicting recreational activities in the city. Originally designed by local artist Henry A. Nord, his illustration would have been a painted mural residing at the Long Beach Municipal Auditorium, which is located where the current Long Beach Terrace Theater resides today. Nord's design would eventually be transformed by two artists, Stanton McDonald Wright and Albert H. King. Together, they helped create the glossy mosaic mural we know today. Projects like these were made possible with funding from the Works Progress Administration during the Great Depression era. Resources like these help millions of Americans, including artists, gain employment through public works projects like the construction of Long Beach Recreation. Measuring at 38 feet high and 33 feet wide, the mosaic mural represents countless hours of work done by 60 artists over the course of its creation. The mural depicts various forms of recreation, including croquette, picnicking, sailing, and fishing. You can also spot various designs used in the cut tiles that help convey certain textures in the mural. Take a look at this section of the mural. These diamond-like shapes were purposely cut and placed in the form of a fan to convey grass. Other portions of the mural use square and triangle patterns to illustrate the use of fabric and water. And if you look closely, you can even spot the artist's names along the edges of the mural. After its completion, the mural called the Long Beach Municipal Auditorium home for over 30 years. However, the auditorium was demolished in 1975 to make way for the Long Beach Terrace Theater. While the wrecking ball came for the Municipal Auditorium, the mural would not suffer the same fate. Thanks to the advocacy by residents, the city of Long Beach was able to carefully remove the mosaic mural from the auditorium. It was in storage until 1982, when it was installed in its current home alongside the parking structure, which was part of the Long Beach Plaza Mall. Over the years, recreation has become an iconic part of the promenade along 3rd Street in downtown Long Beach. While the Long Beach Plaza Mall is no longer here, the mosaic mural can still be found at Harvey Milk Park and Equity Plaza. And if you know where to look, you can even find an homage to the mural's history. The next time you're in downtown Long Beach, take a moment and explore the beauty and detail of one of the city's most treasured works of art. I'm Nadia Gill, thanks for watching Long Beach History, and we'll see you next time.